Outdoor paving is useful for a number of reasons. You may want to create a dry walking area or give the entrance way a new look. There are a lot of off the shelf pavers available, but in some cases it can be better to make your own paving because for a similar amount of effort and cost, you can customise them to fit the exact area you need. So I'm going to show you how to make some exposed aggregate pavers yourself. So what I've got is some horrible old stones. So what I'm going to do is dig all these out and I'm going to make my pavers in between these areas. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to have two pavers sitting here, two pavers sitting here, and what I think I'll do is lay a continuation of these steps, a strip, one there, and now I'll also keep in the same line as these pavers going across here, another two, exactly the same dimensions of these, and then I'll just lay a garden across here. Now that's going to give us protection on the deck from the neighbours, give us a little bit of privacy also. Now, in between these pavers, I think I'll put some nice new white stones around it, and that'll pop out amongst the black pavers. First step, draw up a plan with all the dimensions. By 1445. <clears throat> I'm going to make my pavers 75 millimetres thick, and also underneath that I'm going to have 25 mm fines to give a nice firm base. So effectively what I need to do is dig down 100 mm To recap, I'm digging down 100 mm this will allow for 25 millimetres of fines as a base and 75 millimetres for the paver. Now in this particular situation, all my borders are already defined by this boxing. So if you're at home and you want to do a strip of pavers down the middle of your lawn, what you might want to do is run a couple of string lines first so you know the exact area that you're going to be digging out. Now I was pretty lucky in this situation here, underneath my old stones was some fines. So I'm going to get the compactor in here, compact that down, so it's around about 25mm of fines. Now obviously at home, if you just strike dirt, you're still going to have to fill that up with about 25mm of fines and still compact it. Now I've compacted that down, it's all looking pretty good. And I've started laying in our boxing in between where our pavers are going to go. Now a good little rule of thumb you want to think about, when you're laying your pavers, you want to be no more than about 500 millimetres from the centre to the centre of your pavers. If you put them too far apart, you'll be striding. If you put them too close, you're going to do a whole lot of little shuffles. So what I've got here, a couple of bits of 3 by 2 I've nailed them together, and that's going to give me my exact width that I want, 90 mil. Now, good little tip for you, I've just put a little chamfer on the edge of that boxing, and that's just going to help me pop it out. You could also put some like old engine oil or something like that on there, that'll help lubricate it and pull it out. So I'm just going to put my last one in. Now there's a couple of different ways you can attach this boxing. You could use nails coming through the outside here and just leave the nail sticking out a slight bit so it's nice and easy to pull out. I'm just using some square drive three inch screws and they'll come out nice and easy too. We're just about ready for our concrete. The last thing we have to do is cut our mesh. I've laid all my mesh, I've just got the last piece to cut. Now there's a couple of different ways you can cut this mesh. Either use an angle grinder, a hacksaw if you like, or you can just use these nice and simple set of bolt cutters. Now a wee little tip when you are cutting your mesh, you just want to make sure that you're about 40 to 50 millimetres away from the edge of your boxing. Once you've made sure all your mesh fits the holes, remove it all before your first pour of concrete. Okay, I'm just about ready to place in my concrete. Now, the type of concrete that I'm using is just the stock standard dry mix, ready mixed in a bag. Now all I have to do, tip that into a barra or a concrete mixer and just add water. What I'm going to do is actually add some black oxide, now that's going to give it a really nice dark colour, sort of a charcoal-y colour. Now, a wee little tip. What I'm going to do is add half the stock standard concrete into our pavers. I'll put my mesh in and then I'm going to top it up with our coloured concrete. Two reasons for that. One, I'm going to save money on the black oxide and two, I'm going to get more colour consistency over more steps with 
one mix in the barra. Now I'm just gonna use a vibrator just to make sure this concrete gets all the air bubbles out of it. I'm gonna give it a really nice solid mix. It's not imperative. You could tap the sides with a hammer to get those air bubbles out, but this is a really good way to make sure we get a nice solid pour. <laughs> Cool, so I'm just gonna add in that mesh and then we'll top it up a little bit later with a good mix of our black oxide. I've mixed up some more concrete and finished off the rest of the pavers. Now for the black oxide. You just add it into your concrete to colour. Follow the instructions on the packet, pour it over your mesh and concrete away as per normal. Okay, I'm just using an old bit of timber to screed this off roughly level. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with my magnesium trowel. I'm not gonna use a steel float trowel to finish this off. It's gonna bring up too much water at this stage. So all we need to do is use our timber and our magnesium trowel. Now when you're using the edging trowel, it's quite of a fine line when you do put it in. You don't want to put it in too late, otherwise the concrete's already set. And you don't want to put it in too early when it's too wet. So it's kind of a little bit, probably about 20 minutes after you place the concrete, throw it in there. Now, we don't need to get too fussy on it because we are going to be spraying this later and exposing the concrete. So all we need to do is a nice little radius. Righty, all my concrete's in, I've troweled it off. Now what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna spray some Rugasol on the top. Now Rugasol eats away at about the top five to six millimeters of the surface. Now that just eats away at all that slurry and it gives a really nice exposed stone look. So what I'm gonna do is just do a wee little test first with my finger to see if the concrete's dry enough for me to spray it on. So we just wanna make sure that it's tacky so it only just comes off on the tip of our finger. Yep, that's looking really good. So what I'm going to do is use a spray bottle and give a really fine mist spray. We don't want to put truckloads on, otherwise it's going to eat too deep into the surface. All we're looking for is to give it a really fine mist spray and then we're going to let it wait for about 24 hours. Next day I'm going to come and hose it off. Rightio, now I'm just going to do exactly the same to all the rest. And when you're finished, make sure you rinse out your sprayer. Now it's been 24 hours, I'm just about to remove the top surface to expose the aggregate. Now to do that, I'm gonna use a water blaster. I've got that set right on minimum setting, so I'm not gonna hit it too hard. Now you can use a garden hose if you like, you just wanna take your time. Now a couple of tips, now if you are working near any drains, you might wanna put a silage or a hay bale in that gutter to capture this top slurry. You certainly don't want any of this to hit anywhere near any waterways. And I've got this on a fan setting, so we're just going to go really nice and lightly. Next step is removing our boxing. Now we really just want to take our time doing this. I'm going to pop the screws out and I'm going to give our boxing a wee little tap with a hammer just to loosen it from the concrete. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat the same process for the rest. Now you're ready to add your finishing touches. I've decided on some black stain for my borders and some white pebbles in the gaps between my pavers. Check it out, there's our exposed aggregate pavers. As you can see, they look great and have helped finish off this area nicely. Plus, no more muddy socks when you're going to get the mail.